Hi guys, here we have the Samsung Galaxy Note which is running on Cyanogen Mod 9, I don't understand which version but we would like to upgrade it to the 4.0.3 x6kp wise top firmware. In order to get started, you need to visit our blog at sandwichadvices.com and then search for ice cream sandwich x6lpy for Galaxy Note if you are referring to this specific video. Next, once you visit, you would be given with a few installation requirements and then few suggestions on how you could back up all your data. Following which, the next step would be downloading the package and the Odin package to your computer. Once you do that, you will get a folder some which would have content something like this. As you can see, there's an Odin file and there's a package here. Once you are satisfied with this, you need to proceed with the installation. For which you need to first get your phone into download mode. The download mode process is very easy. You need to press on the long press on the volume down key with the home key and then switching on the device or pressing the power button. Once your phone is into the download mode, you need to proceed with the Odin application. Let me just show you the same. First, once you get the phone to download mode, you would get a warning which says that tap on volume up button in order to continue. Do the same and then your phone would be in the volume downloads mode. Next, run the Odin application. Once you run the Odin application, you may get a warning like security warning, tap on run or click on run and then you would get this screen. Next, connect your phone to your PC while it's in the download mode. You may hear an alert following which you would see that this the first box would be turned into yellow which would confirm that the phone is connected and all the driver, required drivers are also found. Now you can visit back to a blog and read through all the options where it clearly says that you need to select the PDA option and the file which you earlier extracted from the package. Under Odin, you need to select the PDA option and then select the package which you earlier downloaded. Next, as you can read on the, in the article, you need to click on, to on the start button to proceed with the firmware upgrade. Let us do the same. We have clicked on the start key and the package installation has started. As you can see in the log here, the progress log is displaying all the updates which are happening right now on the phone. At the same time, for your information, there is a progress bar which is appearing on the Galaxy Note screen also. It generally takes from 1 to 2 minutes for the whole installation to complete because this is around 600 MB of file which has to be transferred from your phone, sorry, from your desktop to the phone and then it has to be installed at the same time. So you need to wait while the whole process is completed. Meanwhile, let us just go through the article and see what is the next step. As soon as the update is applied successfully, the phone will be restarted. Once you see the home screen, disconnect the phone from your computer, turn off your phone and get it into the recovery mode. As you can see, we have given importance in the recovery mode, which means that you need to make sure you do it the right way. In order to get into the recovery mode, you need to press the volume up key, which is actually mentioned wrong here. We'll update the same and then along with the OK, that's the home button and the power key, you need to press all these buttons at the same time. And then here you need to proceed with the wipe data factory reset option. Following which you are ready to enjoy the ice cream sandwich 4.0.3 on your Samsung Galaxy Note.
as you can see the process is about to complete and once it's done you would get a success message here which would say reset and pass following which you can see it says succeed one which means that the process is successfully completed and the phone is right now rebooting and following which you need to go with the recovery mode options which I had earlier discussed in the same video so this is how you can update your phone from any of your stock ROM or Cyanogen mod versions to the ice cream sandwich 4.0.3 Thank you.